Hey everybody, Zolan Famous here, and welcome back to No One But You. Yes, welcome back. Well, it's been, it's been, it's, it's a long way to return, but you know what? I think we have to recover it. We need to recover this. We need to shut up. Okay, so welcome back to the long way to return of No One But You. But as requested, I will play it again. So, where were we, you ask? Well, I say, we just start off where we were, and wherever we go, we, we it takes us. With school long over, my, my mom, my mother sounds, and my mother sounds asleep, I began preparing for my imminent, imminent, imminent. Raid school. Okay. Oh yeah, I remember what happened last time. So we were going to uh I met we met Shiro up on the high on the roof, right? And um <clears throat> we and I met up with with Rio in the in the in the room and he was talking about there was uh there was some uh, weird things going around the school. There was some like um, legends and conspiracies about the school, right? And, um, there was one called the Ghost Girl and the School. And, um, they were going to go on a search for the Ghost Girl. So, we're just continuing where we left off. Sounds like fun. I send the duo. A message and received a reply from Rio a second, a few seconds later. I'm ready, Heidi. I'll be there. I'll, I'll head there now to make sure everything is all right. Meet me at the gates. Meet me at the gates at 11:30. This is going to be a maze, balls. All right, cool. See ya. After that, I received a text from Shiro. Great. Hey. I'm totally ready for this. <laughs> that emoji really suits Shiro. <laughs> awesome, we'll meet at the school gates at 11.30. Right on. Oh, I was thinking if you have someone you can bring with you, that would be great. The more the merrier. I was just asking me to bring a date. Shiro, Shiro, Shiro. It will be nice to even up the numbers. Oh, I'll see what I can do. Alright, I'll see you in 30 minutes, Haidaki. See ya. Should I invite? I eventually managed to extract Yui's number from her. And Megumi somehow. I. Hold on a minute. Hold ah! on. Ah! Oh. Oh. You've been. Wow. That's what happens when you don't cut. I would have, I would have liked to invite Chinasu, but I don't think, I didn't think to ask for her number, so that's not an option. All right. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, if I end up texting Yui, it'll be a freaking hell straw. It'll be freaking hell to pay. But if I touch Mizumi, she'll be all like happy and she might do something crazy. However, Yui might do something freaking hilarious, so I'm gonna go with Yui. She may not be the friendliest per person I know, but Yui does seem like the kind of person who isn't afraid of, well, pretty much anything. Ha ha ha! Ah Okay. This is off. 
Hey there, you are you awake? And we reply, a really replied less than 10 seconds later. Hidaki? Yeah. Oh, that's. that's. Oh, so that's who nosy boy with red hair is. With weird hair. What? Seriously? You really named me that on your phone? Yep. Oh, uh, well, never mind, John. I just want I wanted to ask something. Ask me to make for something in the middle of the night, I won't hesitate to call the police, you know. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, guys! What? No, nothing like that. Although, if the police do catch us, we might be in trouble. What the heck are you talking about? <laughs> We're investigating the mysterious case of the Midnight Ghost. Breaking into the school? Really, Adaki? When you put it like that, it does sound bad. But it's nothing like that. We're not trying to steal anything. We're just trying to look. We're just looking around. Good night, Idaki. Here we know. Come on, it should be fun. Yay! That's just do this. Yay! Oh my God! Stop it! I'll stop by you. Come on. Wow! Are you that persistent, Idaki? Are you seriously that persistent? Oh! Fine, I'll take part in your stupid plan. I agree. It is stupid. Yay, I knew it would count. I knew I could count on you. Meet me at the gates in one minute. Uh, okay. I put my phone away. Alright, I knew I could convince her eventually. This would be great if I did this on Speech Jammer. Either way, it's time I edit it <coughs> out myself. I sit at the house quietly. I walk through the house quietly, trying not to wake up anyone. I soon reach the door and close. This. This must have been Real's plan all along. It was my plan to come to school. But bringing you along was Hidaki's idea. You would blame him. You could have mentioned this guy was going to be here. I, uh, I forgot. I knew that if I mentioned it, she wouldn't have come. You two just enjoy your time together at the school alone. Take time together in the middle of the night. It should be good for material for fan fiction. Ow! Oh! Yui! You mean! Don't be like that, girl. Doesn't see. Doesn't seem. Doesn't this seem exciting? No. Oh, is Yui going to join us? That's awesome. Oh, Shadow is here too? Of course, how could I miss such an amazing adventure? I added an amazing note for a reason. Fine, I'll come along. It could... Could it be that these two are friends? Awesome, I knew my... You couldn't escape my charm. Shut up, man! <laughs> Settle down, boy. I'm doing this because I don't want to leave Shiro alone with you two creeps. Why am I a creep now? At any rate, let's go before anyone someone sees us. Good call. Indeed. Want me to kick the door? I'm ready. Yeah, let's just keep going. WAIT! 
No, put your leg down, Yui. What the heck are you? What are you? What the heck is wrong with you? We have the keys. Oh, why didn't you say so? Woo! I knew something silly was gonna happen. Oh, I'm not just an idiot. Well, I am, but. Because he didn't even ask. We weren't ready to bust the door open. Oh yeah. Scary how casual she is about this. Haha. <laughs> I agree. Let's go. Uh, let's go already. Shadow unlocked the door and we walked it all inside. We walked all locked in inside. It's really dark in here. Time to take out my trusty flashlight. Trusty! Okay. That's much better. Excuse me. Ah, I brought one too. Cairo and... Uh, appreciated the illumination. The illumination, Rio pulled out a flashlight of his own. It's a good thing you two thought of that. It seems like you and I forgot it. Oh. You only scold. Gown. Apparently ashamed of the fact she was being forced to rely on the yellow and the high. So what are we going to do now exactly? Look around, of course! School is pretty big, so maybe we should split up into teams. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. What should I take? Okay, I'm never not taking Rio. Um... I don't know. Who do you want to go with? I'm going with Yui. She might end up starting to like me a little bit. But if I end up going with Shiro, she'll... Screw it! Yui, I'll go with Yui. What? Really? Why? Don't be like that, I'll, it'll be fun. What? Really? Why? <laughs> that was good. Hold on, I'll be right back again. Man needs to breathe. That's why he's got nasal congestion. That's why he's got nasal congestion spread. So I'll be going with Shiro then. Yeah. That's more now with a clear strand of air that he got there. Baby. You're gonna sneeze. <laughs> you're you're as excited as, as I am about this. So, no complaints here. Haha, <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's meet back here before midnight after we finish the round. Sounds good to me. Could I have gone with Shira? On that night. No, wait, night. On that night, Shiro and you, Rio, went to investigating on their own. Okay, on that note. Now I'm stuck with the in the middle of the night. That's cool. It, it's like my nightmares are coming true. You. Yeah. Why? You have dreams about me. Oh, I didn't think you cared. I'm just kidding. Anyway, let's let's pull the car. See if we can. She's so big! Oh wow! Look! Another empty room! That's a nice change. Indeed! Hilarious. Just keep looking at it. Face it, I actually not going to find any ghosts here. Or anyone for that matter. Well, duh, of course I know that, but investigating is fun. Tell me, let's kill you. Whatever, I'm bored of this place. Hey, where are you going? Right now I have to follow her. 
Yep, I should have gone with Shira. Where are you even going? Oh, the courtyard. Yeah, I was wanting to see that it was quite some night. Should be an interesting place for it to be used. I mean, if I had a red vacuum cleaner with me right now, it would feel much safer. Ah, uh, get it? Just no. Please don't want any good games for me with the lame jokes. You just don't have a sense of humor, Yui. That was gold. Right, I'm gonna look around over there. So her idea of looking around is to do the exact same thing she does at school every day. Whatever, I guess it's good. It's up to good old Hideki to bust these ghosts. Da -da 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 Ghostbusters! Okay, needed to. Started walking around, looking through the courtyard as my flashlight lit the way. Nothing here. Mm, still nothing. We stood up and walked towards it. Did you find something, Hideaki? Hideaki dumps you. What? Alright, yes. I mean, no. Wait, what? I checked my shoes to see if I showed them up in anything. Just face it, Hideaki, and I'm not going to find any. Just as Yui was talking, she was interrupted by a sound of the move in of the bushes moving. Well, what was that? Yui grabbed my hand tightly. Oh, okay. I don't know, but it can't come over there. Let me check it out. No. Uh, don't man, don't leave me alone. I mean, I want to come with you. Sure. We both walked over to the bush. Okay, it came from came from here. Started looking around the bush as you tightened her grip around on my hand. Oh! Just then, a cat jumped out at us. Ah! Whoa! Oh, ha! -ha. It was just a cat. Oh! 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 Kitty! Oh! Kitty likes that. Yui's expression changed. She looked. She looked. You know, looked scared. It's so cute. What is a cat doing here at this time of night? Yui said. As Yui said that, the cat ran away. Oh. With our source of mutual interest having vanished, Yui and I were alone once more. And as the excitement passed, you only looked at my hand and I was just grabbing it. Uh, your face is becoming red as a tomato, really. She pulled her hand away. Sh shut up! I was really something. You're not gonna mention this to anyone, got it? Oh, jerk. I won't tell anyone how much of a scary guy you are. Ha 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 ha! Ha punched my shoulder. <laughs> Ouch, I was just kidding, dude. I'm serious. I'm gonna hold them. Good, you better not. Yui! I've never seen this side of Yui before. Why more? Okay. Multi personality person over here, maybe? I never thought she gets her so scared easily, especially given how she acts all the time. Maybe there's more to you than I thought. What the heck are you doing just staring at me like that? Alright. Oh. I just don't know for a second now. Let's get back to the others now. Okay. Progression, progression. Oh, there you two are. 
Did you find anything? Nope, not really. We didn't find anything in the courtyard either. Even still, we still have five minutes before midnight. Yeah, Rio's right. Let's let's wait around a little longer. Taking Rio's idea to her, we stood there in the in the hallway and talked for a while. But the moment we hit midnight, we were all dead quiet. Nothing could be heard, not even the sounds of us breathing. Everyone looked rather worried as as the wind blew around the school. Okay, the sounds is a bit terrifying. What was that? I don't freaking know. It came from the club room. Should should we go check? Should we go check it out? I'll go. You guys wait here. Don't act like a hero, no, Hidaki. This this might be serious. I'm not acting like a hero, and sure was nothing. If something happens, I'll call out for you guys. Let's be careful, Hidaki. Don't worry, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, the noise came from this room right here. I slowly grabbed the handle and opened the door. Okay, everything seems normal in here. One of the boxes fell over, but how? Just then I felt a hand on my right shoulder. Whoa, what the hell? I quickly jumped forward and turned around. What the? Shinatsu? What in the world are you doing here? I'm sorry, I, I'm sorry I scared you like that. I saw you entered the school earlier and heard about your plans with the others. I wanted to join in, but I lost track of you on campus. Oh, I see. So it wasn't the midnight ghost after all? Nope. You still scared the hell out of me, though. It's a shame you weren't the sole concerning ghost. And sorry for busting your bubbles. Bursting your bubbles. It's okay. Anyway, let's head back to the others. Um, maybe we shouldn't. But what do you mean? You guys all came all the way here searching for a ghost. You'll be ashamed to disappoint them. True, Ryu and Ryu and Shiloh would most likely be fun by this. What should we do? I'm sure you can come up with something to tell them. I'll leave. I'll leave through the back door. All right, cool. Hurry up before they see you. Okay, good luck, Hidaki. Turn out so it's executed the room. Alright, time to have a good old fashioned Hidaki light session. This is fun. Hidaki, what took you so long? We thought you were. we were dead. We thought. you were dead. We were about to plan your funeral. Ha ha ha! Oh, you was gonna plan my funeral? How cute! You sure have, yeah, I sure have faith in me, really. Anyway, when I reached the door, I started to hear a noise. It sounded like a girl talking to herself. I slowly opened the door and walked inside to see the silhouette of the girl behind the curtains. Everyone was looking at me while their eyes sparkled. I slowly walked towards it, and when I moved the curtains. I stayed in the room for a little while, for a little while, then came back here and asked what happened. Whoa! That sounds totally awesome, man. So it could have been the ghost girl? The ghost of the girl. Darn, we were so close. Yeah, I wish I was with you. Let's see it. You guys don't really believe this, do you? It just sounds like a typical horror movie cliche. You really have a little faith in me, uh, in me, Yui. Ugh! Did, did that really happen, Idaki? Huh? Of course it did. Why would I lie about that? Hmm. I should be more creative next time. Just don't blow my cover, Yui. This is exciting, but 
This place is starting to give me the chills. Man, it's getting late. Maybe we can come back again later and continue the investigation. Okay, let, uh, let's leave it at that for now. You lock the doors, all the doors, right? You try to rope? Yep. It's like we were never here. Good. We won't get into any trouble. That was that was really fun, even though we didn't find it, find much. Still, I enjoyed spending time with you guys. <laughs> Me too. Anyway, I should I should be he walk, heading home. Oh, same here. I'll walk with you. Okay, goodbye, you two. Bye. Rayo and Shiro walked away. Yep, I should have walked with Shiro. I should have gone with Shiro. I sh I should head, head to the dorms too. I'll walk you there. You don't have to. You don't have to. You aren't far away. You no, know, that's why I want to do it. Well, do as you wish. There we go. See you later, Yui. As I turn away, as I turn to walk away, Yui grabs onto my sleeve. Um, Hidaki? Yeah. I just wanted to say that I had fun today. Thanks for not mentioning what happened to the others. I don't mention it. I had fun too. This doesn't mean this doesn't change the fact that I think you're annoying. Haha, <laughs> don't worry, I'm self-aware. Well, as long as you know. Try not to have nightmares after what happened today. I could say the same to you. Bye, Adaki. Good night. With those parting words. Uh, with those parting words. Oh! Uh, with those parting words, Yui walked into the dorm. Oh well, I guess I should head home myself. As I walked into my own home, I crept more quietly than ever before, exercising far more caution than at the school. I didn't make a scene. My mother would freak out if she knew I sneaked out in the middle of the night. I should head to my room. I walked to my room, then immediately threw myself on my bed. Man, I'm so tired. It was a lot of fun though. Either way, I wonder what happened to Tsunatsu. Hopefully she made her home safely. But then last episode we saw her go under the bridge and disappear. Oh, Yon, what a day. Or rather, what a night. To think that we actually snuck into this place in the dead of night. Wait. Wait a minute, what am I doing here? I only just woke up. Did I fall asleep in class again? If so, I hope the teacher didn't notice. Hang on, where is everyone? It looks like I'm the only one here. It's so quiet and empty. I moved away from my desk and walked towards the windows. Hmm, nobody's outside either. Did I come to school on a Saturday without noticing? That sounds like something I do. Either way, I think I'm the only one here. Then I walk through the door and out of the classroom. As expected, it's empty out here too. It's just so quiet. As I approach the school entrance, I notice no someone standing to the gate next standing next to the gate with their back towards me. So, uh, it's hard to tell from a distance, but they look like they look like a little girl. What is she doing here? Is she waiting for someone? Oh, that doesn't make any sense. There's no one else here. I better just go ask her. I started walking towards the little girl. Um, hello there, little... Gah! Just as I was about to tap her shoulder, I felt a strike on the back of my head. Oh man, that was... Wait, what the hell is going on here? Why am I back in class? I was just outside and... 
as I felt to an increasing degree that something was amiss. I looked towards the front of the room. The board which which the the board on which classwork would usually be written contained a single phrase. The words Y Hideaki were written all over the whiteboard in black marker. That's creepy. What's going on in what's going on here? Is someone playing a prank on me? I need to get out of here. This place is making me feel uncomfortable. Screw this place. Why did I even come here? I walked towards the stairs and started rock walking down. What the? Continued running down the stairs. How do I keep returning to the same hallway? This doesn't make sense. I looked around at the other end of the hall and, s and I saw someone standing there. Huh? I can't really tell who this is, who that is, but I can see their lips moving. Are they talking to me? I can't hear them. As I started walking towards the mysterious person. As I walked, I watched the expression con constantly change from that of someone laughing to an expression of anger to misery, then back to laughter. Are you talking to me? No matter how much I walked, I, was una I wasn't able to reach them. It was as though I was walking in an endless hallway. Hey, who the heck are you? What are you? What are you saying? The figure disappeared momentarily, and, and only to reappear behind me. I could feel their breath running down my neck as I slowly turned around. I know what you're doing. What you are doing, you had better stop while you can. Ha! I'm in my room. Unbelievable! Was was all of that a dream? Great, just when I needed a like, like one reoccurring nightmare wasn't enough. Here, are they supposed to mean something, or are they just random? Don't calm down, Ayaki. I'm sure I'm just worked up from all the crap we did last night. I freaked myself out by going ghost hunting and and dream and that dream was the price I paid. Got a Wattpad notification. Cool. As I wandered downstairs, dressed for school, ready and ready to go, I joined my mother for breakfast. Wow, hi, Daki. You look even more tired than usual. I just had a bit of a rest this night, I guess. Wait, really? You looked up. You look like you look like you sneaked out to go on a crazy adventure in the middle of the night. Well, what? That's ridiculous. I would never. Calm down, Daki. I was just kidding. Yeah, I know. She did. She didn't. She did certainly nail it. Indeed, I was like, oh, okay. Anyways, I guess I I'll, I'll be off now. Those tests won't ace themselves. Ace themselves. All right, Idaki. See you at dinner. Later, mom. Yep, this is great. When I reached my classroom, the first sight to Grace was that Ryo and Shiro talking next to my desk. Oh, there's the man himself. Hello, Idaki. Good morning, you two. Still discussing the paranormal? After last night's awesome adventure, how could we not? Yeah, we're trying to solve the mystery of the Midnight Ghost. We should come to the school at night again. Mm hmm. Uh, you guys shouldn't have to. You guys should. You guys. You guys shouldn't give this too much thought, especially with finals approaching. 
I guess you have a point. Even so, we shouldn't let this go. Yeah, this mystery needs to be solved! Oh man, these two are just... Oh, class is starting. I, I should return to my seat. Yeah, we'll talk about this later. Great! My name's not free, I decided to suit. I decided to hold my suit. I decided to fall suit. Mere moments before the teacher walked in. Great! After surviving the entire learning session, entire lesson, I stayed in semi consciousness. Break time arrived, or I knew it. The classroom was nearly empty, only leaving only myself and the teacher, who was working on some papers. Whom I guess I'll head to the cafeteria and got myself something to eat. I stood there and walked towards the door. I asked, uh, "Can I have a word with you?" Oh, uh, sure. It didn't seem seem like you were listening in class today. Ah, crap. We were bound to have this conversation at some point. I'll tell the truth. You're right. I think I've I've been spacing out there. I figured as much. I've noticed that you haven't been paying much attention in the class recently. I know you're you're new here, but you have you and you've made a lot of friends. But you seem to not you seem to not to you seem to be too concerned about them moving from one person to the next. Like you need to think more about yourself, especially with exams being so close. You're guess you're right. I guess I I'll try my best to focus more. I'm glad to hear that. Listen, I have some boxes in my office that need to be moved. And looking to the literature, literature club. Can you do that for me? I know it in exchange. You know, in exchange for not giving you attention. Yeah, sure thing, Teach. Hey, great, thank you. Okay, guys, I think I'm gonna leave this here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please like, leave a like, and subscribe. Peace. Oh.